Okay, so uh, here's the blank uh, that's been put into the mill. Uh, I've adjusted all four uh, blank stands so that they're at the same level and true to the router. And I've put the router bit right above the stringer and I run the router up and down along the stringer, up and down along the x-axis to make sure that it runs true with respect to the stringer. If not, uh, I turn off the vacuum pump to release the blank from the stands and then rotate the blank appropriately along the z-axis until the router runs along x true to the stringer. And at that point the uh, blank is entirely aligned for milling the top of the blank, the deck of the blank. So now what I do is I bring my router to the initial position to mill the stringer. Um, it's at y equals zero, which is right above the stringer. It's at x equals zero, which is at the nose of the board. And I bring the z value so it's maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3 inches above the uh, stringer and the blank. Uh, and then I run the stringer milling program. And I start above the, the, the stringer because uh, if there's any uh, parts of the segments of the stringer that are Relative, uh, relatively too high, they'll, they'll, they'll be milled off and I don't want to mill too much wood at once so I start high. And then of course what I do is I uh, do a second pass but I start with the uh, stringer, uh, I start with the, uh, the router a little bit lower along Z and I keep doing multiple passes uh, until the entire stringer has been milled along its length, right? I don't want to leave any unmilled segments. Uh, and at that point, the stringer will be um, milled to its desired final profile. But So uh, I finished uh, milling the stringer. I took a shop vac and just uh, removed the sawdust. Uh, probably not necessary. Anyways, you can see the uh, milled stringer. You can see the pixelation steps uh, up and down its length. Uh, I'm using a uh, three quarter inch diameter router bit to cut the stringer rather than the uh, half inch bit that I'm going to use to cut the foam. Uh, the, the bigger diameter bit, it stays centered uh, as it's cutting through the stringer uh, better. It doesn't skid off to the side. Okay, so now I'm ready to mill the deck now that the stringer's done. Uh, I simply bring the router bit back to the initial position at x equals zero at the nose, y equals zero at the stringer, and I bring the uh, router bit down so it just touches the milled stringer. And then I run the uh, uh, deck milling program. I tell the software where the router is starting. And it's going to mill the deck in a serpentine pattern across Y, moving down along X towards the tail. And as it passes the stringer, uh, it should not cut into the stringer. It should ride uh, just above the stringer.